Hey guys, it's Barrett with the Gimme Camper. So, you guys know the little guy Max we've done a couple of projects on. Um, we put a lithium battery on there, changed out the converter in the power distribution center. I will say that I had a company reach out to me last year offering an inverter for me, and I thought, well, sure, an inverter would be great in the little guy Max. So, I accepted that for a full review. I feel bad, you know, I do do honest reviews. I feel bad because um, essentially this video is a lot later than I had originally agreed to. I didn't really set a date, but you know, I implied that I would have it out fairly quickly. But for those of you that don't know, my father passed away the end of last year and he was on hospice for a while. Had some issues with that. so. I finally told him, look, I'm sorry, but it's going to be a while before I get this done because I didn't even have it installed yet. So I made some time and got everything like tidied up with, with all my personal business there. Made some time, went over to my friend's house, and we installed this inverter. Now the inverter that we used is an Alpha 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. And so with that, you know, it's a pretty small inverter. He doesn't plan on using it you know for a whole lot uh, he actually mentioned just charging his phones and stuff and i said well it's easier to charge your phones just from the 12 volt system because it's going to be more beneficial you're not going to have all of the uh, power loss from the inverter eating that but if you wanted to use you know like a tv or something like that which one of the tvs in his little guy max is 12 volt too so it's really not a whole lot of reasons there but it's just nice to have a 12 volt plug that works on battery power when you need it so I thought, well, we'll get it in there anyway. So the way that we ended up mounting this is we used his cargo box on the front of the trailer. It's where the battery's mounted, so it makes it pretty, pretty easy there. We did discuss a few different ways of like mounting this. So we discussed just leaving the inverter in the box, which is what we decided to do. But we also discussed like running an extension cord to like a, a power, a dedicated power outlet inside the camper. That way, whenever you turned it on, you would have use of that outlet in the camper. Well, you know, we decided just to, just to leave it alone for now. We might possibly end up doing that upgrade, but most of the time when they're camping off grid, they got the front window open. If they need to just run an extension cord in, they can, or just run the cord to whatever appliance they have out the window and plug it into the inverter. So with this, I did use a hole saw because there's dividers in his uh, aluminum. It's got like aluminum tread on the cargo box. So I used a hole saw so that we could run the cables through that. Um, and then I just used some self-tapping screws just to mount that inverter to the back wall of the cargo box. Um, but it's more on the right side where the battery's in the middle. So we had to make a hole there for the cables. I made the hole with a hole saw. And then we took some like rubber grommet, it's more, more like a strip material, and put around that so that it didn't have any sharp edges that would cut the wires or anything like that. So it's pretty easy to hook up after that. You know, we took a two gauge cable uh, with some lugs on there. We went from the negative on the inverter all the way to the negative post that was on the shunt for his battery monitor because that's gonna be your main your main point that everything needs to go through. On the positive wire, we went from the inverter to a 12 volt DC breaker. And then we went from the breaker to the positive terminal on the battery. So I will say all in all, this was a very easy install. Well, as far as the inverter itself, I do, you know, it seems to be holding up well. We've not used it a whole lot yet. We did some testing on it. It works fine. The display is nice. Um, however, with the display, the way we have it mounted, it's hard to see, but it does give you some very useful information whenever you're trying to use the inverter if you need it. Uh, we'll say that, you know, it is advised even if you have a lithium battery like Tyler does, that you know you have a, a bank of more than one battery. However, you know this is going to be for very limited use. It's only 1,500 watts. I think the one battery will power it sufficiently, um, but you're going to have a lot less draw from the battery if you have more than one that it's pulling it from, and obviously it's going to last a lot longer as well. But like I say, they're not planning on using it a whole lot. We just wanted to have it in that way, you know, have it available if we needed it while we were off-grid camping. We did test it with a couple of appliances like this radio here, which you'll see work just fine. I mean, we plugged it in, turned the radio on, radio works. Uh, 
Um, it's not a whole lot to this thing, but I will say that, you know, it met all of the criteria that I asked for it to. I hadn't used anything with a real high draw, which is it, it is only 1500 watts, so it's not gonna have, you know, enough to, I wouldn't run a microwave on it. I, my 2000 watt in my camper barely runs the microwave. It causes us an issue every time you run it from there. So we actually stopped running our microwave off of it just because it gives us an issue. And we usually just turn the generator on whenever we need to. But all in all, I'm happy with the fit and finish of this product. Seems to be working well. If you're interested, I'll put an Amazon link below. Thanks guys for being part of our family. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to tune in next week for next week's video as well. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button.